welcome experience. My name is Rachel and this is a boot workout. So for anyone with foot or ankle injuries, early in their recovery process, because we're gonna put zero weight on our feet, but we're still gonna get a full body workout today. You know, let's get going in our warm up. I'm just gonna start with some arm swings here, opening up the chest. And we'll go shoulder circles, moving those elbows back. Nice big circles with the elbows. And bring it forward. We move this into full arm swings. Being careful not to hit our hand on that box. And switch directions. Take sitting nice and tall, taking a twist to the left and over to the right. At your own pace here, just a little bit of spinal rotation, looking in that direction as I twist. One more. Good. Next, we're going to sit back on our box a little bit and just do some leg lifts here, just as far as it's comfortable for you, bending that knee and then straightening that leg as I lift it up just a little bit. You should feel some tension here in our thighs. Good, three more. And last one. Nice, go ahead and switch legs. What we do to one side, we must do to the other. As I'm sitting back, you might feel a little tension in the abs here too. Can lean back for a little extra tension. Two more. And last one. Good. Once you're feeling pretty warm, we're gonna move into our first exercise here. I'm gonna start by getting those abs with some bicycles and hollow body rocks. So I'm gonna start on the edge of the box, kind of on the corner here, so I'm moving diagonally. Pull my lower belly in, rest my shoulders, shoulder blades onto the box, knees up. I'm gonna be kicking one foot out as I twist opposite elbow to opposite knee and switch right here. The more you kick those feet out, the harder it's gonna be. So start small right here and then lift up a little bit more, kicking out farther if you want a challenge today. 30 seconds, three, two, and begin. Breathe with each movement here. Trying to wake up those ab muscles. Good, almost there, last five, four, three, two, one. Bring those knees into your chest. Rock back up to that seated position. Next, I'm gonna come over, making sure to be careful with my injured foot. I'm gonna bring my shins onto the box with my feet hanging off. And mess up this position a little bit. Find what's comfortable for you. I find it's most comfortable with my ankles right on the edge. So from here, I'm gonna keep my back flat as I sit my butt, as I sit back towards my heels as I lean forward, and then squeeze my glutes, pushing my knees through the box to come back up, pushing those hips forward. Hips go back and forward, back and forward. At your own pace, adjust your stance as needed here. Might be more comfortable with a wide or a narrow stance. I like to keep it pretty narrow. I don't know, about 40 seconds here. No weights. Wake up those glute muscles, still keeping our abs braced here. This is our kneeling deadlift. Good, 10 seconds. 
last five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna find our way back down onto the edge of the box here. We're gonna go hollow body rocks next. So make sure you have enough space behind you. You might do bicycles again if you don't. Otherwise our hollow body rocks are right here. I'm just balancing up on my hips and rolling back to my shoulders. And make sure you don't go so far forward that you have to put your feet on the ground, right? Or if you do, making sure we're putting that good foot down, yeah? All right, we got 30 seconds here. Three, two, and begin. Hollow body rocks at your own pace. Rounding that spine as I roll up and down, feeling my abs work top to bottom. Ooh. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, and rock back up, rest. Sit back on the box a little bit, bring our arms up, reach up to the ceiling, give our abs a nice stretch here, and bring them down. Next, I'm gonna show you that deadlift with a band. So optional to use a band here. I'm gonna do dumbbells for our third and final round. So what this can look like, if you wanna add some extra tension to it, narrow stance, I'm bringing that band underneath my knees, and then I'm crossing it in front, and then reaching low, on the band, so it's going to look about like this. Same thing, we've got our kneeling deadlifts, 45 seconds, three, two, and go. So it's a little bit different from this kneeling position, right? You'll notice I have to kind of bend my arms as I go down, straighten them as I come back up. You might keep them bent for a little extra challenge. A little more tension as you come up. Keep my hands nice and close, shoulders down and back. So I'm still maintaining that nice flat back. Good, nice job. We're going 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, set that band down. All right, last set of abs here. We're going back to our bicycles. Three, two, and begin. Last round here, then we're gonna take a rest. Ooh, stick with me, last bit of ab burn. for a second. Last set of our deadlifts here. You're going to safely find those, de those uh, dumbbells. Place them up on your box and find your position here. It's the same movement. Abs are braced, sitting back. And I'm going to have those dumbbells up on my shoulders here as I sit back, keeping my elbows up and forward. All right. 45 seconds, three, two, and begin. Make sure you're leaning forward. I don't wanna be sitting back on my ankles here, especially if your ankle's still recovering, keeping that weight more in the front of my shins and my knees. seconds. I'm going to add a press. If your shoulders are up for today, add that press. Three, two, one, and bring those weights down. Ooh, all right. We're going to bring it down to our mat. No weights for this one. 
We're going to go kickbacks and knee push-up rotators. Safely finding your way to the floor. We've got two rounds of this one, last circuit. I'm going to start with my kickbacks, 30 seconds. So what I'm going to do is come down to my forearms here. My back is staying flat. I'm going to start with that injured foot, just kicking it up nice and slow, as far as it's comfortable, and then bending that knee to bring it back in. I'm going to start that clock, three, two, and begin. And slow just as far as it's comfortable, straightening that leg as I kick up, bending as you bring it back in. Good, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and bring it in. Now, as you move to your good leg, you might choose to do this up on the box so that that other foot isn't doesn't have too much weight down here. So I can be down here like this. Or it can be up on the box here so that the ankle's hanging off the edge. Okay, other side in three, two, and begin. Thirty seconds, you got it. here, push my hips down, bring my knees apart slightly, and we're going to go push-ups. Three, two, one, and begin. Just as low as you can, keeping that back flat. From my knees all the way to my shoulders, and notice a straight line. No high hips or sagging hips here. Make sure your ankles are pulled up so that your feet are comfortably off the floor. Doing good. Ten more seconds. Push through those push-ups, you got it. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring your hands forward, keeping our hips up high still. I'm gonna rest our forehead to the ground. Nice deep breath in and out. All right, coming back to our forearms. One more round here. Kicking back that leg for 30, starting in three, two, one, and again. legs. Going right into it. Three, two, and begin. down as I come up to my wrists. Push-ups in three, two, one, and begin. Last set here. Nice and slow on the way down and on the way up. Three, two, one, and relax. Bring those knees apart. 
hips up, rest your forehead to the ground. Take a breath here. Walk your hands up. When you're ready, safely find your way back to your box. That is it for the beginner boot workout. Thanks so much for joining me, everyone. Good luck in your recovery. Stay safe, stay well. I'll see you soon.